Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. Yes, I'm still wearing the same thing because I am about to start a hat. Since there's enough yarn. Um, I started to put on a slap ham. I, I don't even know why. Just like, dude. Some of your pronunciations, you need to learn how to re-pronunciate, like, or learn, like, the Umatilla Reservation. It's not the Umatilla Reservation, it's the Miss Mission Reservation that the Umatilla tribe actually resides on with the Cayuse and the Walla Walla. How do I know that? I was raised in the same town as them. Oh, dang. Anyway. Oops. 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 So any of you that want to know any of the spookness that happens in that town, you just ask me. So anyway, um, the same little knot thing. Oh, and I'm using my brand new crochet hook to do this, which is a size 5.5 millimeter, which by the way, Michael's Crafting was a dollar 99. There you go. See, I'm always going to end up saying that at some point. Dollar ninety-nine. Now, um, I, you guys know I always do my double. Take it through. Double twist. Take it through. Okay. Now, you guys always know I'm going to leave my tail here and for a king yarn here. Now if I was going to knit this, that would be different, but my knitting needles are in my room. Let's take this, take this, and just loopy, loopy. Oh, we can get loopy today. There you go. We're getting loopy. <laughs> we can get loopy with this. I have to wait to load this because the internet. I do not know who's looking in the office. You can wait. Not all that important. Really is not important. Oh. I could have gone on the internet and asked my friend Snake Rock if I could have played some of his music in the background. I could still do that right now. But you know what? I don't feel like it. Snake Rock is a great musician. And that's why I put his link in the last video that I did, and the link to book pa uh, Butch Patrick's channel, which you well know as, like, he's a monster, so that's why it says monsters. Um, so, yeah. Which is cool, people. You know, he actually uh, purchased his grandmother's Victorian house and restored it, which I think is cool. He says it's haunted, probably by his grandma, or any Native American people. <laughs> they built the house over. Um, okay, so this is how we like generally measure for hat size is around the circumference of your cranium. 
and it's gonna match really nice with her scarf. And then when it comes down to the other um, skein of yarn, and I will use that for her gloves. And I'm only gonna make knuckle gloves. She has a short phalanges where I have long phalanges. She has shorter phalanges. And don't cut your hands anymore, sweet. <laughs> we have an ongoing joke with this. Oh my goodness, after a tragic thing that happened, uh, she was cutting a bagel and uh, slipped with the knife right into her hand. Like, gotta be careful to be careful and I'm not going to apologize for the background noise anymore you guys know I already did one disclaimer with that and I'm not going to apologize for background noise any longer it's not my fault that some people are rude so um okay so I have to take some of this out Let's see where I can take it out of. And see, I have my hair in a ponytail, so that actually puts some bulk into it. So I have to take it back to about here. And she has short hair, so I'm actually having to take it back out to right about there. And I actually took that forward a bit. And then... Um, what we do is we will take this and go, and don't worry, I'm not intimidated, what the fuck ever, the person can't go with it, freaking go with it. I'm busy minding my own business. Which is nobody else's. <laughs> ah. Okay, and then take that down in there. You see, what we do is we go back on the row and then we attach and th yeah that's exactly what we do that way we have stability in the stitch i really want to make this uh, really super stable because as I go along with Char's fashionation, I want to make sure that the fashion isn't just fast fashion. I want to make sure that it's stable. I want to make sure that it's comfortable at the same time, as well as fashionable. But, you know, not just, I don't like fast fashion like that. Like, I really like the Jeffree Star, you know, Halloween shirt, you know, in that mystery box that says can't really. I think that's cute, but I'm not really into fast fashion. You guys notice I've been making a lot of my own stuff lately. Um, and as soon as I get, you know, this whole internet thing figured out again. At least I got a video uploaded. Yeah. My creeps figuring out that trick. Right? Yeah. Wait, no. If there's just those days. There's just those days. See? 
but you guys probably noticed that like I leak this a lot just to get the stability from the yarn when I go to uh, there in bring through <laughs> I really have to laugh at these hackers are trying to use. I have to laugh at this. I'm not even connected to the internet long. Uh, not while I'm uh, while I'm making this video. I'm actually not connected to the internet. And uh, my friend that I'm making this for, she just texts me. She says, love it. Can't wait to get it. And, you know, I, I can't wait until she gets it. You know, I, I'm obviously not going to say her name out of privacy. I'm not going to tell you a, a lot about her, you know lovely person, sweet as can be, she was born and raised, you know, old school Jersey, Italian, messed with her real friends, she'll beat Jesus out of you. those old school Italians are, I'll tell you. That's what their real friends will find some way to beat Jesus <laughs> or beat him in the head. Like, telling you that that's the people you don't mess with. Old school Italians. They'll come after you with some ruler or yardstick. Be like Sister Charles Bronson. That's a that's what Rocco calls nuns. He calls them Sister Charles Bronson. <laughs> he went to Catholic school for a while. And he knows about those yardsticks and the rulers. He said some of the kids he went to school with went home with broken hands. Because the nuns would literally like come up, smack, break your hands, even if you didn't do anything and they thought you did. Smack, your fingers got broken. Like child abuse central. I know you did something, Jimmy. Smack. Wish, like I should have asked to explore with us if I could have uh, played one of their videos in the background. I like having stuff on in the background when I'm knitting and or crocheting because I could look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful, isn't it? And that's going to be like for somebody's that, uh, hey, look, now I look like a hippie. Anyway. <laughs> That's funny. Um, hey, guys, remember I said I wanted to crochet a gray one? Oh, my gosh. That's, like, one of my friends. Yeah, it's, like, my friend's, like, favorite thing. And maybe I was thinking about her. Without thinking about it, maybe I was actually, like, thinking about her when I was thinking about crocheting a dragon. 
because I was thinking of these kinds of colors to put into it. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Do you think I should go ahead and get all the other yarn and like crochet for a break in for Christmas? If you do, leave that in the comments below. She will love you trying to do it for Christmas. You know what I thought about doing is taking some broadcloth, and that's what I have on that jacket that I'm making for myself. Um, is I put the broadcloth on the side, and that's the name of the material I was trying to think of. Um, is I'm going to take some broadcloth when I go to attach the hood and put it at the collar and a piece down the middle of the, the hood itself. And um, just for contrast, just for contrasting material, I think it'll be beautiful. It's, it's going to be beautiful. And, um, yeah, I think that'll be really nice. So basically, the one I'm making for myself is going to be like a mock-up. All right, Mark and Domery will be proud of me and my jacket. It's going to be the mock-up. And I'll proudly wear it. I don't really care. It's, it's really warm. But I think the pieces that I make for myself are going to be more of my mock-ups for, you know, like people to see, see if they like them, you know. Um, it's about time that there's like some new fashion featured for people. Like, something that everyone can wear. Doesn't matter your size. Doesn't matter your height. And that's what I mean by size. It doesn't matter your size. I mean height um, or your weight. It does not matter your size and or your gender. Basically. Because you guys know coming up soon, I will be making you some more pants. I do have my material for that. I would love to make another run back fabric mark. Um, I wish I could have done that in August. I didn't have the chance, but that's okay. Wait, no, I did go in August. It's not September. Anyway, I did go. And, um, then Angela Clayton went, Angela, you missed out on their 75, or their 70% off. You went to their 60% off in, um, in August. I went to their 70% off. I believe that might have been September. Yeah, I believe it was. And that's sad because I wish you would have been able to go to any time. Okay, anyway. So what we do is we take this part and we're going to make sure it goes through here and then that's going to be secure. And we're going to take this part and secure it at the bottom. And we've done this before. And I've shown you this in the past with other hats. So we just take this loop, okay, take this loop, bring the loop through, bring the loop through, okay, and we're just going to do that just for now, okay, just for now, okay, and then what we're going to do with the tail, and this is why we leave a good size tail on this. So that the tail on this is usable. That's all you're going to do with it, right there. Not at all. Knock that off, right there. It's good. It's, and that's why we have that. Um, and then, what do we do? We continue on. So, I'm going to continue this on around, and then I will be right back 
with um, most of this hat done. Be right back. As soon as I remember, I am plugged now, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got most of just, I would say, the headband part of it done. And I said I would come back after I got like most of that done. So that's why we're back. And just, you know, like I said, uh, take this, loop it, take it through. Take this, loop it, take it through. Also, it depends on the yarn that you're using for the size of your crochet hook. All crochet hooks are not sized the same for your yarn, so always make sure that you have the correct size yarn for the correct size crochet hook and or the correct size uh, knitting needle. Actually with knitting needles worry about that too much because that depends on the span of the pattern that you make with it. The same thing goes with this. So like if you're making a pattern with this, I'm really not too worried about that. And then it comes all the way around back to the back where you just take that through and all of a sudden you come back to the back it's all even it is you know why it's going to be even because you're not going to double that one you're actually going to make that one single and that single is what makes this even and I'll show you why. Let me take my glasses off. And as you notice, when I do this, I always pull the loop a little longer because I want to make sure that I'm not pulling that out. Now, that's when you know you can just do this and then even pull that over the ear. And that's just basically the headband portion of it. That way you can size it to the head because this is just going to be stretchy and I know my friend doesn't have like a ginormous cranium or too small of a cranium our craniums are just about the same size and she wears glasses so I don't want to make it too tight because I don't want it pressing hard on her glasses so that's another thing I think of for people that wear glasses is I don't want a hat and or a headband to be pressing hard on the frame of your glasses and because that may crack the frame or it may hurt your head. So I definitely wouldn't want that to happen to you. So it is something to keep in mind. definitely something to keep in mind when you're knitting and or crocheting something for somebody. Um, do they wear glasses? Absolutely always keep that in mind. Um, you don't want that like too tight or too loose for that matter. And then once you have that right there and that's all nice and even and clean, see how even that is? So this gives you a choice. Right here is just keep going and even all the way around until you come up to the top point where you just start making it smaller at the top point. And there's so much yarn here, I'm not even really going to have to worry about that. She doesn't have, you know, my size cranium, so I'm, I'm not really going to have to worry about that. Serious. 
Um, I mean, she has a normal size cranium, but I'm not really down to worry about it. Like, um, she's just a small Italian. And, like I said, she's one of the sweetest people you could ever know. So, uh, anyway. And I just, you know, she got, I got the text from her saying, you know, like she loves the scarf on how it looks. And, uh, you know, because I sent her a picture. <laughs> and then um, she can't wait for me to make the hat, which I'm making right now. And once I'm done with the hat, you know, I'll take a picture and send that to her. I will definitely send her a picture and uh, make her day even better, you know. It's really good to make somebody's day. I, I like making people's day, you know, like they may not be having a great day and it may be nice to make somebody's day even better, you know nothing wrong with making somebody's day. So, Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this band all the way around until I'm almost to the very top and then I'll be back with that. The person back to me doesn't know that I'm about to press pause this. And I can care less because she's just being a moron. She does this on purpose, but you know, I can give her crap. She's a sweetie. Stop it, stupid. Okay, so I'm back with most of the headband, and pretty soon, as, as soon as, nah, I'm not having a brain fart with my tongue here. As soon as I get to a certain point on this, I will have to switch up to the other skein of yarn. But I think I might have enough for her hat with this. I'm pretty sure I will. I'm pretty sure I will. Um because these skeins of yarn are usually pretty good. Rocka might be coming back. Yeah, Rocka might be coming back. Who knows? I should pause this and ask him. Okay. Well, Rocka's not stopping that fight. That's all right. He says it's starting to rain, and uh, he has to make it back before, you know, the rain gets too bad. Um, I was hoping to get in the kitchen and cook myself something hot today. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, but you know what? I'm not going to let my day go to waste. I have this to do. And, uh, you know, I already made the arm net scarf, making a hat. And my day is good. Because after this, you know, doing this today, have. Uh, a garment to finish later. Uh, let's see. Take a shower to relax my muscles. Because, you know, this can be tedious. My hand cramped up from the arthritis. I have arthritis. And part of it's in my hands. Um, 
So if you have arthritis, you know. Yeah, you know all about that. Um, oh my gosh. I should tell you like the other day after cutting fabric, my hand cramped up so bad. My fingers were like, no. I don't want that crippling arthritis that makes my hands like this. Why well, I try to take good care of myself, you know. Adding that turmeric and the cinnamon into your diet with you know, some ginger and some curry. That really helps with your arthritis. And if you don't add that into your diet, you're you're gonna suffer. Let me tell you, you are gonna suffer. There are just certain spices and herbs you gotta add into your diet. Alright, alright. I have friends that call me a kitchen witch. Because I will just brew some stuff up. And it makes them feel better afterwards. Maybe that was just a funny Halloween pun. <laughs> But, you know, I seriously have had people call me that because, like, I will brew something up for them. You know, like, cook something up in the kitchen. I said brew something up on purpose. But I will, like, cook something up in the kitchen for them. And um, it actually makes them feel better. And they're like, oh, my gosh, why do I feel so much better? I'm like, because you ate something healthy and something home-cooked, some not fast food. And they don't realize, like, that really helps your health so much better than junk. You know, it really helps your health so much better than a bunch of salty junk. I mean, like, salt doesn't help arthritis. Salt actually makes arthritis worse. Oh, my God. It, because it can also cause gout and um, a lot of people are like oh no gout is because you have too much potassium and too much protein in your diet no not really gout can be caused from several different things and high salt in your diet is one of the factors of gout some research on that you'll find out a high sodium diet can cause gout. Gotta cut back on that sodium. I'm happy you did. Unless you're one of those people that has like such low sodium in your in your body, you actually need it. Which you know that's completely different. But if you're one of these people that you know you have bad arthritis and you just have heart issues, you just need to stay away from that. You just have to have a low sodium diet. That's why I try to stay away from high salted foods or like, I don't like to insult my food. <laughs> Which I'm still working on my book, Don't Insult your food a healthier way of living. So, um, yeah. got to watch your diet when you have that. So. Found something out when it came to like, like the internet last night and today in the last couple of days. Like I wanted to like load something and it was acting really funny. 
and um, found out why. Really did. I found out why and how they bypassed and everything. And that's you know like why I got like the activity up on this. And it started at 6 a.m. at exactly 6 a.m. Yeah, what time she wakes up? Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Way she's not partial in her house in case somebody makes a comment. Okay, so now I'm thinking at this point I want to just turn this around and go back the other way and bring it back to here and then I'm going to go back the other way. And then um, because, because, because of the wonderful things it does. <laughs> just be a little silly today because if you look this is mostly done look it really does not take that long to make winter hats or scarves and then we'll get into making gloves this year and oh my gosh and oh my gosh and oh my gosh and I'm gonna make her like some like wear around the house winter socks, you know, that she could just wear slippers. And when it comes down to uh, me coming back and chit chatting with you a little more while I'm making this, I'll be back with that chit chat in a moment. Okay, so as you see, I am almost done with this hat. <laughs> almost is right. Oh my god. I actually have just the right amount of yarn for this. This is beautiful. It's just beautiful. Almost done with that. Yay. It's gonna go great with this. Just gonna go great with this. This is lovely. Oh my gosh you guys. This is gonna be so great. So, as soon as I just finish that off, we'll be right back with that. And then I'll put both of them on and show those to you. I'm so, I'm so excited. Okay, so I almost got this finished all the way to the top. And then I ran out of yarn, which means I need to go grab that other skein of yarn and come right back. So let me go grab that. Okay, now I'm back with that other skein of yarn. And do you notice the labels are completely different? I don't know why I don't really care. I'll just be able to finish this hat and call it finished. And then I'll be right back with connectings. Although you might wonder, like, how do you end one? And connect the other. I guess I can just go ahead and show you that way. Uh, let's see. Is. This is kind of like hide and seek to find the end of the yarn. It's usually stuffed in one end. 
how these go. Usually tucked away in one end. And then right here, I already have that knotted off. Not that it's knotty, but it's knotted off. Um, so I can already take a pair of scissors. I could tie that together really if I wanted to, but I don't. I don't. Um, because I'm going to just go ahead and start that back up. Again, you know, whatever yarn I do clip off, get saved for a stuffy. Yes, get saved for a stuffy. I always look forward to making stuffy. Uh, yep. So, this will just go in here. Handy crochet hook. Handy crochet hook. And then take that, take that off. Anyway, <laughs> take that, take that in here where you left off. Um, then take that in, and then take that tail portion, pull that through, go like that. It. That's, that's what I do to secure it, and quite frankly, to me, that to me it makes it sturdy. And even though this looks frazzled, don't worry about that. That's going to be clipped off anyway. Don't don't worry about that part. That, my friend, is about to. Off. And again, that piece will be put inside of the stuff. Um, and then just like that, like that. And as we go along here for this part, go along just to uh, make the ending portion of the hat and you just this is what I do is I take this and I'll count so many over and I'll pull it in that's what I do that is exactly what I do you can shorten your stitches, absolutely shorten your stitches. But, bring you guys down here. Absolutely, you can shorten your stitch time on this, just for doing this. Um, I mean, my gosh, I've just like knocked out a scarf and a hat in one day and you know it takes a little while to do but you can do it you can do it too put your mind to it and you can do anything you know I sound like Bob Ross but put your mind to it and you really can do anything in life Never think that you cannot achieve your goal. As long as it's something positive, never think that you cannot achieve that positive part of your life. Positivity is what makes your life better. I'm positive that I will be able to bring things to you guys and uh, hopefully make your day.
and uh, show things to you, teach you stuff. Uh, I gotta go back and set that other video as educational. <laughs> I meant to do that, and then I meant to drop the other video into that. And the other video for like the hats that I've made, that's what I'll do with this. Let's drop the link for that. And, because you guys know I've made hats last year. Um, so, this, this is just a refresher on uh, how to do things. So, um, again, I'm not going to apologize for background noise. Um, I'm just not. I don't have to according to law. I do not have to apologize for background noise. So, nope, I wrote, I do not have to apologize for that. I read that. I actually did. I read that and then I watched the YouTube video about it. If somebody else interrupts while you're doing your video and I I watched the YouTube video about when you're already in the process of making your YouTube content and somebody else is loud in your background that's not your fault. That's their fault. Oops. For them, that's not your fault. And that is a fact. But I can bring you that fact. That's right. Glad I can bring you that back. Does that know who it is in your background? If you already started doing your video and somebody else decided to get loud in your background, that is totally not your fault. That just that shows their ignorance. Absolutely. Anyway, as you see, this is getting smaller at the top. And it's going to continue to get smaller at the top. And then once I get to the very tippy top of this, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're at the very tippy top of this. And as you can see, we're almost done. And I've been saying that. I know I've been saying that. But as you can see, that's actually not a bad size hat for a uh, winter. That's actually not a bad size hat, and that's going to go really nice with the scarf that I made. That is that's gonna go really nice. Um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, just take it, loop it, take it, and pull it. Because, like I said, as we do this, we're actually narrowing in, taking this half in, and you're also making it breathable. So you want to make sure that the scalp is able to breathe and be warm at the same time. That's what I like doing with garments like this. A hat is not only an accessory but during the winter it's also a garment um, so it's really nice to have it breathable that keep you warm at the same time Now, at some point here, I will just take it 
And yes, this is a longer video. I know. It is a longer educational video for this hat because making a hat, making a hat does take longer than making a scarf. Um, now, those other hats that I made, some of those took days to actually make because, because of the simple fact is, and I'll tell you why, because of the simple fact is, they had specific design points to them that you had to do very specific very, very specific. Very, very specific. And I'm just wanting to take this in and then we'll decide which part we want on the end, which side we want on the out. And uh, I want to make sure that I don't have that knot point from where that in and then right here and then right here to see this right here this is always a little niche that you can hang it that's one of my my little spots right here you know that's the back of the hat that's also a point where you can hang it on a hook and uh, that's always great to know that's your reference for the back of your hat Okay, so what we're going to do here, because we're almost done with this, is go ahead and put off at least, we're going to clip, I know, five below though, five below. It's not five and below, it's five below. I don't know why people say five and below. It's five below. <laughs> they do have some cool stuff though. <laughs> um, you are able to shop online for some of their stuff. So as I found out, you are actually shop online for some of their stuff. Now what I'm going to do here is where I can actually pull stuff through. Um, <laughs> does that one work otherwise? And then turn that, pull, pull that through, turn it, pull, pull that through, Again, turn it, pull, pull that through, turn it. I don't want to make her hat look like an elf hat, just because she's you know, shorter. But, you know, at the same time, I want to give it some, like, stylish styling. You know, you got to be styling in your own style. You know, nobody will have this hat where she lives. They'll just think her, just her, just her. And there we go. And that's it. And her hat is done. Done and done. So just take this snip we all know where this piece of yarn goes to that pile of stuff yarn um and i will go ahead and take off my glasses now we know i'll i will i will clip 
this piece of yarn off here in a few moments. But let's go ahead and just try on the hat. And again, I'm not apologizing for the noise in the back because that's not my problem. There we go. There we go. Oh, wait, because she wears glasses too. Let's see how this works. <gasps> there we go. Oh my gosh, that works so great. Oh, that works so great. And it's not too loose. And it's perfect. It's, and look, that's kind of like a little beanie. But, oh my gosh, that, that's actually kind of cute. That kind of, it just is. And since she has short hair anyway, this will keep her warm. This will keep her warm during the winter. Um, oh my gosh. Wait, no, she's actually in Nevada. Um, Giggles is in, wait, I think Giggles is in Nevada. I think, I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, oh my gosh, I like this hat. If you like this hat, you know what to do. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I like how this turned out. So, I want everybody to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Try something new with your style. I'm glad I can show this to you, teach you education. I don't mind teaching you. It is something that I used to do with Head Start students and Head Start parents. And I don't mind bringing that to you. So absolutely, I do not mind bringing the teaching you. Like you saw there, I was able to loop this around my neck twice. Um, she'll be able to do the same thing. And of course, I have respect. That's why I don't say her name. Um, and since I have my hair, you know, um, pulled back in a ponytail, this is says, you know, hey, this will fit her head. This will fit her head. So, um, I will see you guys next time for the Her Gloves. And that'll be the next sequence for this. This Her Gloves. <laughs> Bye.